Hey everybody, part two. Sorry, I lost you all. I don't know what happened there. Um, anyway, uh, just I lost the connection. That's what happened. I don't, but I don't know why. So I, for some reason, these last few days, it's been sunny and nice out. It's not even raining, so I don't know why I'm losing connection. Where my phone keeps trying to tell me I have a bad connection. And I'm at the house. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, um, so where we left off, we were talking about in the what's new. There are always helpful tips. Avon puts those out for us. If for some reason you didn't get your what's new with your last order, um, you can view it online in your Avon.com. Um, so definitely um, take a moment to go through that. It's worth it. Avon puts money into that nice colored little flyer for us for a reason. Um, but um, Orinthia's top 10 tips are inside the uh, What's New for Campaign 9. Looks like that on the front cover. Um, and also, new product, product alert, product alert, um, hydration. Um, this is the Skin So Soft Aqua Express. It's new packaging, um, same great product. They've had it um, in the past. About this time of year, it usually comes out. It is a limited edition. So you may have some customers who really like this type of um, Skin So Soft. Um, be sure if they ordered last year, you're telling them if you've been selling a while. If you're new, then you're probably going to want to get um, a pack of this and at least share either the moisturizing gel or um, it'd be kind of hard to share the body wash so the gel or the spray however whatever you want to use as your demo thing feel free to use it yourself but share it around and let people see it touch it feel it smell it they're gonna like it um, it's got a um, oh gosh now I forget where I read it um, it has a citrus scent so it can, it's can indulge and uplift it's a fresh citrus scent with a time released moisturization that lasts throughout the day um so and it also is infused with water mint oil um, so important things to know so how do you sell that product it's going to be people who like skin so soft um definitely are your top target line um, but definitely having a product on hand to share with people will get some attention as well um, they do talk about celebrating mom with fragrance um, create five customer sample packs include each of the five fragrances in this bundle along with your business card um, by providing a variety of scents to each customer you increase your chance of sales um, so here's the bundle pack they're talking about um, you get all of that for $5, four ninety nine. dollars um, It's $7.25 value. And so they're telling you create um, a customer sample pack. Um, I would do, because I think this is a cool idea, I would take those five different scents, the Absolute, um, the Passion, the Luck, the Prima, and the Ultra Sexy Pink. Those are the five different ones. Put them all in a party bag um, you can get those 25 of them for a buck at Walmart or at the Dollar Tree um, tie a little ribbon on the top and then when you give out your book you could say I have got a nice little fragrance sample pack if you're interested if you're talking to somebody who's new um, and you're just kind of out trying to get some customers then take those with you um, and do it do it that way and of course it did say also to drop in your business card so you definitely want to make sure you got a business card or you could even have a printed up little flyer inside there if you don't have business cards yet don't say oh gosh now I can't even do this um, because oh and then I don't have them handy but anyway um, I was with a representative yesterday she went and print up a little thing that talked about your reason why you wave on and blah blah blah. So you could make your own little something on colored paper with your name, phone number, address, um, or not address, but um, email address, and your website. So you could have it all on a little sheet of paper and then um, something that just says um, celebrate mom with fragrance. Um, you know, that could be that simple. And then you type up your information. If you like any of these scents, please contact me today at blah 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 so um, you know it doesn't have to be difficult but if I can come up with something myself um, it I'll let you guys or I'll add it into the bottom of the page or whatever or add it into our file so that you can print it out and we'll make it easy for you um, but for anybody who knows how to use a word 
processor, WordPerfect, Word, whatever it is. I can't get Microsoft Word. Um, see, it tells you I'm not even, I'm not even Peter Sav. I, I figure it out. So if, where there's a little, there's a way. Um, but anyway, take those around, share them around, have a little, um, have a little uh, clipboard and use our lips thing that is on our files as well. Um, you can print those out, cut them up. You can put them on colored paper if you want. You can put them on white paper. It doesn't matter. But um, if they're will, if they'd like to take the sample, um, you just exchange the information. Can I get? You know, usually if they're like, oh, thank you, I really, I love Avon, blah blah blah. Well, if, while I have you for a second, can I just real quick get some follow-up information? If you like something there, great. Um, but I'm happy to get you a new brochure or any. You know, I'm happy to deliver a book to you. I can bring it to your work, to your home, wherever. Um, I just don't know how to get a hold of you. So what would be the best way to reach you? And they'll fill it out real quick. They'll either give you an email, a phone number, an address, whatever. Um, and thank you, and on your way you go. So um, that's a great way to um, do something with your business. Uh, they And they do talk about some other things here, but I'm going to post those into... Um, uh, uh, not I can't remember what the thing is called now, but it's a create a something. I did I did a couple of them. Create a document. So I'll do a document that'll have it. Um, but anyway, good tips. There's more um, samples, more fragrance. So we are not just stuck with only those five different fragrances, but Lips X2. Um, so you could actually you know order one of those and then toss in a little lipstick sample along with it, just one lipstick and your five samples and say and you could even say we're doing um, a Mother's Day survey um, and I, we just like to know which is your favorite scent. So we're gonna open it up, be excited, and you know. So either so we're doing a Mother's Day survey, which is your favorite scent. If they don't have time to figure that all out right now, could you fill out this information um, with your you know your name and a way to contact you so I can find out which one was your favorite scent? Oh, okay, we could do that. That you know, let's make it fun. Let's just make it fun. Um, then they do have in here a special offer just for you on this a new skincare. Um, the actual uh, clinical line. So take note of that. Um, there's also um, in with the old, out with the new. I mean, I said that backwards. In with the new and out with the old. Out with the old, in with the new. That's how it's supposed to be. Sorry. <laughs> I'm having one of them days. Let me tell you, my phone does. It can tell it wants to act up again. I can see it moving slow, so I apologize. Um, anyway, so there are things that are being discontinued and there are things in their place to take their place. Be sure you read up so you know about that. Um, and if you don't, we will have it so you can view it. But um, definitely it's on youravon.com so you can look at that too. Always something new and fresh with Avon. I love all our new colors, new clothing. Um, they're constantly coming out with something new. And I think that gets some people's attention. Um, now the front of the book is um, for Campaign 9. It is touting on that new fragrance. Um, but it is our Mother's Day edition, so you see mom there with a the kid and um, and the husband or whatever, or boyfriend, I don't know, whatever you, whatever you want to call them. But anyway, it, you see a family there. So um, that, that does bring some attention to Mother's Day, So and it does say at the very bottom, uh, for, mother, for Mother's Day. So, um, you know, start telling people think about it because stuff starts to go fast, and then they won't have what they want for mom. Uh, there's some new flip flops, some new purses. Um, there's some new jewelry. I do have to show you the jewelry. Pearls, oh my gosh, you can't go wrong with. Um, I think that's going to be a hit for mom. And this one has some chocolate colored pearls in it. Uh, really, really pretty. Um, next thing, next page has some watches for mom. This is an elegant watch. I mean, you can see that very closely, but oh my gosh. These, one, these Elgin watches are really really nice I have bought a few of them um, they hold up very well um, the crystal stuff on them is beautiful um, there's also a pretty chic bracelet watch at the bottom and um, it's made with enamel which I think is pretty cool too um, and of course we had those mom watches here mom and I think uh, yep and one for grandma Nana are uh, um, so anyway and there's a mom and a Nana bracelet too so that that's something cool to draw your customers' attention to. Um, and then for those customers who purchased the bracelet that has the add-on charm beads, and, um, 
back like around uh not the christmas one because my understanding is the christmas one does not match or fit with all i'm not really sure why they did that i mean it was afterthought or the company they were using to do it something wasn't jiving so they had to get a different company i'm not i'm not really sure i haven't found that out yet um all i know is our beads that we now have all fit from the one from valentine's day so it's where there wasn't anything on it except for a little um, silver sparkly one and you can add or take away but, but so if, if you had a customer who bought Valentine's Day they can now add some pretty nice things there was some for spring also um, so make sure you bring that to their attention um, then there's a special offer for those who have their folks who love sterling silver rings and necklaces so pretty cool um, just make sure you're letting your customers know what's in the book if you don't bring attention to something uh, they're not they may be in a rush and not really they'll rush right past it uh new candles new scents something and then this is kind of neat that's something new to us um it is a home sensation blooming jasmine diffuser and it actually has flowers at the top it's really pretty um so if you know someone who likes jasmine or they order um, a candle with the jasmine, you may want to let them know about this if they didn't happen to see it. Um, that diffuser is $19.99, that's what it's going to run. Um, so that we're writing competition with everything else out there. Um, and on the very back cover, gold and silver. We can't go wrong with gold and silver. Um, nice um, two-tone mesh product there. So. Um, that's probably going to be on my order because I do like the gold and silver. I love the silver, but I like that there's gold added to it so that um, if you have other jewelry or whatever, you can mix and match stuff. So that's it for campaign nine and the what's new. Um, but I did want to bring to your attention um, a couple of things in the actual book. Uh, if you are, if you're considering you're wanting to sell more stuff or you're trying to boost your sales or you're trying to get more points or going to the bahamas got to give the bahamas one last hit here one last hurrah we have through campaign nine um to earn the points and that's through sales and through um signs people joining your team you have lots of opportunity and then as you title advance you can get a thousand points so um definitely think about what you can do because we're sometimes we're missing about i mean you could have your thousand points you got people on your team but you weren't working your sales and you might miss going to the bahamas by 75 points yikes that would not be good um 75 points is you selling three hundred dollars worth of avon i keep looking over here because i got my little chart up here to keep reminding me what am what am i doing i got my vision board handy so i can see where am i going what do i want to do i've got a vision so get your vision put your vision goggles on put your vision goggles on um and think about where you want to go so here's a set in the book that i showed you in the what's new so if you decide to buy the pack it's 12.99 in the book so you can sell it as a set or if you choose to and you order it out of the what's new you can break it up um and I would say um, the body wash is eight, and the moisturizing gel is six, and the um, milk spray is also eight. So um, for the deal that's down here, you could say five dollars for the wash, five dollars for spray, and three dollars for um, moisturizing gel. So that gives you thirteen dollars. That covers the cost of all this if you break it up. Um, so sometimes people look at that and they're not sure what to do with it, but that's that's what I would do. Um, to just to give you uh, you know a heads up it's not in this thing it's it is sold individually if they want to buy one thing um, by itself um, they're gonna pay the full price so the idea is to try to get them to buy the whole set because it's better deal as a bundle so how many bundles of this will you sell in campaign nine it's really gonna depend on you but if you make a purchase of that out of the what's new um, usually I would say try to get one product so that you can sell this, but they're not offering um, this in the What's New as one product. They're only selling it as the bundle in the What's New. So um, I I had quite a few people who liked it, so I'm, I'm pretty hopeful that if you did buy the bundle, you'd be able to 
um, share it with somebody. As long as you share it, if you're sitting on it and it's sitting in your living room on the floor, nobody's going to know about it. <laughs> so definitely share. Um, and let's see, the only other thing in here that was a bundle is this, and I've been, I shared this in the last couple of campaigns. I can wait for it to come back. It's our foot product, um, pineapple chill. I love how it smells. Um, it smells great. But, um, so during campaign eight, you could order out of um, your, or you could back order from campaign seven or in the, I believe it's in the campaign eight book as well. So you can order them individually. Um, the cooling lotion is $3.99 on sale and then whatever your discount is or the cooling spray is $2.99 on sale. Um, and then the exfoliating scrub is on sale for $2.99. So pick one product. It's kind of, the scrub might be nice, but um, I think ideally if you have that cooling lotion, you could even rub it on their hand, let them smell it, feel it. Um, they'll like it and then they'll want the whole set for $9.99. So how many of those sets could you sell? If you set a limit, have a vision, where are you going? What do I want to sell in campaign nine? How many? Do I want to sell five sets of skin soap? Off, five sets of foot products. Um, you're talking ten dollars for the five foot sets, so that's fifty bucks. And ten sets of the um, Skin So Soft, that's thirteen dollars each. So that's better than fifty dollars. That's like closer to sixty dollars. So you'd have over a hundred dollar sale if you sold five sets of each. Um, that's getting you in the right direction for sure, my friend. Um, and who wouldn't want to make money off of that hundred dollars? I mean, you could put in your own order of something small, but you were in this to make some money. So, um, consider that. And that is all I have for you for campaign nine. Um, and sorry, it got cut off the last time I could have just finished it out. But, um, anyway, this at least gives you something to think about. Definitely, definitely put your head gear on, think about vision, what's coming, Mother's Day, what's our focus? Now, Easter is going to get here before that, um, so certainly you could probably put together some little small packages of um, anything that makes you think spraying a, a hand cream and um, maybe a, a hand cream, a foot cream, um, and a fingernail polish um, in a small little bag and make that something special that you're offering for Easter. Um, that will be that requires you putting some effort in and making the purchase and having it available um, but or you can offer it um, you know to your customers as you're calling them um, and, or texting them or however you're getting in touch with them for follow-up um, that in the next few campaigns before Easter gets here which Easter is ay, 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 ay. oh um, let's see now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so April April 16th is Easter. Um, and we probably have at least two more campaigns before Easter. But Mother's Day is hot on its tail right after that. So, And that is, of course, a bigger shopping holiday for us because everybody needs to do something nice for mom. Um, Easter isn't necessarily, it's more geared towards kids and candy baskets, and that's not something we have. Um, and we don't really, it, we can't get our hands on any children's roll-on stuff or um, shampoos and bath stuff. So it, that's going to be a little, little bit more of a, a challenge to come up with stuff for Easter, except for, like I said, if you do something spray, a hand cream and a foot cream, a hand cream, foot cream, and a nail polish, um, or and possibly a lipstick, something new shade, something that makes you think spring. Um, but and then you could decide, you know, if you're doing the, if it's a foot cream that's $1.99, a hand cream that's $1.99, and one of our gel polishes, those are, um, those are like, I want to say when they're on sale, $5.99, something like that, $6.99. So, um, kind of our price went up a little bit because other gel polish, to be in with other places are running for gel polish, um, they're trying to be uh, competitive. So, um, so we can make more money. Um, but anyway, um, so if you include that, you're probably looking at at least uh, making it a $10 little gift bag. Um, but if I end up putting some of those together again, I'll show you uh, how I do it, that kind of thing. We'll probably make a few of those just in case some of you are inspired to do something for Easter. Um, but that being said, I'm going to let you all go and do your thing. I hope you have a fabulous Friday, everyone. Work it this weekend and have a good time and have fun while you're doing it.
talk to you later. Bye.